This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now at the uh, Furuset, and behind me here is the Tesla Model Y. And in this video, I'm going to test some new features that has been updated. So one feature is that uh, the auto headlights is supposed to be improved. And then the other one is that um, now the charging, uh, or the preheating, is optimized. I, I'll, I will show you. So there, there's actually lots of changes. I will test it here. We have a 50 kilowatt charger, but let me go inside and explain what's going on. Actually, we have lots and lots of changes. Uh, there are so many that uh, I can't walk through all of these. We have this one, this one, this one is one uh, with her. You see, okay, it says during DC fast charging of the thermal system, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm not gonna read really, But basically what it means is that, uh, what I complained about before is that when you are DC charging at 50 kilowatt charger, the car is pre-programmed to, uh, to heat up the battery by default to 40 degrees which is kind of waste of energy if you're only topping up for five minutes. So this will probably be better. We'll see, we'll test how it is. And then, uh, well, okay, uh, okay. All the other stuff here is <laughs> um, lots and lots of other uh, goodies, but uh, I will not test them. It will just take too long. So uh, before we start, since this car has been, wait, this car has been parked kind of long, outside what well, it's huh? it's not minus five no, no, no. it's 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 not minus five it's yeah it's the heat pump that dumps some stuff that it looks like minus five but i can show you here this is um cars uh, this is not cars this is scan my tesla uh cell temp mid was only 10 degrees celsius i was like hmm wait at 60 percent state of charge if you plug it in we might not get optimal charging speed so um that's why I navigated to, to supercharger for now. But let me test something here. If I do this console, and then I do this, and if I, for example, go to mere 50 kilowatt charger, will it preheat it? Oh, it will actually preheat it. Huh, hmm. Oh, okay. Um, maybe we should uh, test this later. Let, let's plug it in and see what happens now. And then, okay, let's console this one for now. Well, okay, as expected, you see this one, front and rear power, I call this the, the afterburners. So the car is now generating heat in the motors to heat up the battery, and we are receiving only 30 kilowatts. Or if you want to see on this screen, if that looks nice. Oh, okay, huh, it's kind of interesting. You see, this screen reports 40 kilowatts, right? But this is what we were receiving from the charger. So this is a little bit misleading, 42 kilowatts, because this is what goes into the battery only 30 kilowatt and then the remaining power is then used for heating up the battery so um, it's not ideal for us to test it right now we need to uh, I guess do the headlight test first and then we come back and test this one all right so now we are close to dawn it's going to be pitch dark soon you see I have a car in front and oncoming cars so last time I complained that it was just too cringy it was firing up the high beam uh, at will almost um, let's see how it goes now see there? okay we passed the corner here uh, okay let me just hug the well no, no okay let me get over to the right lane so when you enable cruise uh, yeah autopilot it will by default uh, enforce um, Auto high beam, you can disable it by pulling the stop towards you. Wait, wait. Away from it, yeah, away from it, yeah. But that, let me just uh, re enable it. Okay, so you see, now that auto high beam is on, I mean, that the high beam is on, uh, let's see if we find the traffic. It's getting kind of late now, almost one at night. Okay, there's the, oh, oh, okay. Car behind, shuts down. Hmm, not ideal though, because we need to have only okay i do uh, i have to slow down here it's it's always a little bit clumsy there are oh, man in this case okay I, well at least it didn't fire up the auto high beam at activation that was also kind of clumsy yeah well, at least now it it stays on like this okay now i have to get past that car because it kind of, it disturbed my, uh, 
the, the, the logic versus the oncoming traffic. So I just want to get past this one and see how it goes. Uh, if I then enable all pilot here, hopefully we see. Okay, high beam on. Wait, what the? Okay, curve. Lots of stuff going on here. Right, let me see. Now we just have to get an oncoming car and see what happens there. Okay, that one turn off, right? That's fine. Um, but the, the problem before was that it would fire up the high beam at oncoming car. Oh, oh, this is way better. Yeah, people have been reporting that it acts way better now. But now it's supposed to turn it on. Come on. High beam, high beam, high beam, high beam. There, there. That's late. That's late, man. Will it detect the car in front? Nah, it's probably too far away anyway. So I would also have high beam on there. Wow, I have to say that the high beam in the Tesla is really good nowadays. The only problem is that it's not adaptive, but the, for dumb lights, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah, good, well done, well done. But it's quite late to fire up the high beam again. Okay, here, oh, 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 okay. Well, that was also well done. Right, but now it should fire it up. Come on, come on, come on. High beam, high beam, high beam, high beam. Could be a moose over there. Could be a moose party over there. Dude, fire up the high beam. Oh, okay. And now we are getting close to that car in front. Well, okay. Well, at least it's doing what it's supposed to do, right? I think before it would fire up the high beam when we have a car in front. But at least now we detect it and then it doesn't fire it up. So what I can do is I can go a little bit slower maybe. Ah, oh, I say slow, slow, slow. Get some distance to the car in front, see what happens then. Okay, and then I enable this one. Okay, all the pilot. Let's see what happens now. Let's go a little bit slower. Yeah, it should not fire it up and it is not doing it. But after this car passes, then it should fire up the high beam. Wow, super late. Come on. Oh, and then the car. Yeah. Okay, at least after this one. Come on, high beam. High beam on now. No. Wow, there's a lot of traffic here. But at least it's not firing it up, which is kind of good in a way. But just also want to demonstrate. Come on, I want to go really late now. Can we go really late? No, okay, whatever. I have to, I have to exit here. All right, we are back at the charger. So this time we have 22.8 degrees Celsius in the cell. And then we are down to 21%. Uh, so I, I know that with this kind of uh, conditions, we should be able to receive 100 kilowatt at least. And we're only going to charge at 50 kilowatt. So now let's see what happens when we plug it in. So in the old days, it will just, as long as you charge it on uh, DC, it will just by default heat up the battery to uh, 40 degrees. I remember even when I was in Lapland, you know, and we, there was a, I don't remember how fast it was, like uh, 15 kilowatt ch DC charger. It would just heat up the battery and then uh, that means that half of the, the, the power which would be used for uh, heating up the cab, uh, heat, yeah, heat, yeah, oh, oh, yes, this is exactly what I've been asking for, for the last uh, two years or something, no, 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 since I had, I'm, three years ago, I think, I requested this, that, you see here, uh, what, what is the problem here, um, these chargers, like, like the one you see here, um, the problem with these ones, I can show you better, this Phoenix contact, they have 125 amp limit on the current. This one, this one also. I think there's even a um, sticker somewhere. Um, no, okay, maybe I can show you here. Maybe this one has a sticker. Oh, that, it's kind of damaged. Yeah, they, they used to have a sticker that says how many amps, but these can only take 125 amp. Uh, and then with 400 volt times 125 amp, you get 50 kilowatt. But the problem with many cars is that you simply don't have 400 volt at the bottom. You see, we have, in this case, we have 
354 volt but at least we're getting 122 amp but now oh this is way better we are receiving 43 44 kilowatt uh what is the car reporting yeah the car is reporting oh man this is beautiful it's beautiful <laughs> because what would happen before was that we will not get 44 kilowatt into the battery we'll get uh, 35 or something and something like that shit and then these two afterburners will be sucking seven or six kilowatt just heating up the battery to 40 degrees for no reason uh and let's say if you want to just top up for five minutes then we don't care about it. yeah by the way why is it why was it pre-programmed to heat to up to 40 degrees back in the days or before well because eventually if you keep charging long enough and the state of charge go, goes higher let's say 70 percent 80 percent if the battery does not gain more heat then you cannot receive the speed here that's why it was pre-programmed to do that but it was kind of silly because how would you know right how far you want to go yeah <laughs> so um but now it works way better so this is exactly what i wanted to uh achieve so i i don't know actually if tesla i mean why did tesla change this was it based on my video or did they figure it out themselves from somewhere else hmm that will always be a mystery right but I can quickly show you that we have okay some logo some new uh, driver unlock mode. Uh, the, yeah, I don't know. I haven't checked all this tire configuration and some uh, auto autopilot. This is, yeah, uh -huh, okay. In emergency, lots and lots of changes. Energy app have been receiving some updates. Battery heating performance. You know when you preheat for uh, for this nation, they also improve that one. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, this one. Hmm needs further testing but it has been improved when driving at highway speeds uh, i suspect that in the past when i drove at highway speed more way speeds and i went to the supercharger especially especially during 1000 kilometer challenge uh, i suspect that in the, in the like before it will not um, preheat enough you know i will arrive with not optimal temperature and then not get the best speed maybe with this one it will actually estimate better and you will arrive with hot enough battery yeah i'm not sure i need to test it but uh, i'm running out of time with this car cabin overheat protection there's a more tesla uh, yeah okay yeah, i improved this this one is pretty cool also um yeah in the app you can actually see if i nav let me, let me show you sir. Uh, if i do something like this um, Okay, if I just navigate to there, right? Whoa, that that took some time. There, there, okay, oh, there, there. Okay, it's calculating route. Wow, this is a bit slower than usual. Normally, it's super snappy. I'm not sure why it's. Oh, yeah, I'm. I'm using Wi-Fi. Uh, maybe I should switch off Wi-Fi on the phone because I've been transferring some files. But we can we can just switch off the Wi-Fi here. Yeah. So I, I turn off the tethering here, so that we use 4G. And that should not. Uh, let me see. This one is still not updated. Come on. We're not on Wi-Fi anymore. There. LT. Okay. Let's try again. This is supposed to be if I just say Ionity Doll, for example. Lot, uh, yeah, yeah, for example, this one, the uh, week, okay, whatever, this matter, okay, but see here, okay, this is pretty cool, okay, you see, I'm in park and I'm going to switch to drive. Look in the app now, once I switch to drive, look at the location here, it changes to okay, I only the journey station, and if you click here. It now suddenly shows, well, okay, um, it shows where we are and then where we're going for. It doesn't show you the outline like this one here, but still lots of cool new cool features. Let me put the car in park. You can go here and can show you go to software, you go to release notes. Like I have been busy testing all these legacy automakers and then I come back to Tesla. I'm like, what, huh? All, all these the dynamic brake lights, when you brake hard, at low-ish speed, it will flash the, the the brake lights to warm 
cars from behind that you are braking hard you know uh yeah you have this one also supercharge like uh when you are at the supercharge or you click on the supercharge i can show you okay there's so much stuff okay constant, constant. Buck, 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 buck. like here you can see now uh, when you click on this one you can see how busy it is the the tesla keeps adding so much stuff here i I, ha I haven't been able to keep up with all the all the new stuff here um yeah i have some games and stuff uh, i'm not sure about what's up with that one tesla profile this is super useful finally you see it has like an icon now this is actually the profile that has been loaded from my uh my uh i can show you here if you go back here buck, 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 buck. you see here oh went a little bit too far out so it's now the the profile is cloud-based finally you know tesla is uh, so far ahead in most other stuff but not huh oh yeah it's preheating the battery yeah this is this the bacon here by the way means that it's preheating the battery and i can also see it here you see now we are running those two motors generating heat to heat of the battery and why did it happen well because i chose to navigate to uh supercharger yeah so it's going to cancel it yeah but uh man uh, like i have to go back here man this is snappy infotainment oh loads quite qu relatively quick but there's just so much stuff going on here but yeah i want to tell you that test the profile it will load all the settings uh it didn't load everything but at least it loaded a lot of stuff but it did actually load the history from the navigation i went into a branch back in new car i just loaded up the the profile and then suddenly i could see stuff that happened several weeks ago from another car it was or what where i went so uh, oh, oh yeah i just noticed something you see this is a little pro trip pro tip if you do this and you do this you will get additional cabin light to make it even brighter in here but oh yeah i forgot this is a fairly new tesla model y performance from giga berlin here yeah and Marcus, every time he uh, uh let me borrow a branch banking new car he will always leave this protective uh oh i i didn't take up the protective film oh i need to you know I, uh, this is it's a virgin i have to take the 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 protect oh, 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 oh. if he finds a daily oh yeah this is better oh no wonder why sometimes it was not so responsive <laughs> okay okay i'm done now digging around so anyway, uh, conclusion is that uh, Tesla has improved the auto high beam. They have improved the uh, fast charging stuff. There are lots of stuff I've shown you. And I think th th not, mm, this is not because of my videos. It must be from feedback from other people because uh, yeah, there's lots of stuff here. I don't know even what the heck it is. They just keep improving it. So, you know, uh, with legacy automakers, I feel like, okay, they might change a few things over the years like what is it again yeah yeah people keep bugging me hey bjorn you have to test the new uh, kia ev6 and ionic 5 they finally have navigation uh, they have preheating when you navigate to a fast charger i'm like hmm, that is so 2018 feature in tesla so that's like the one and only big okay no hating right and just just like an example the one and only new feature with kia right this year and then Tesla, meanwhile, this year, they have shit ton of features, like 20, 50 more features in the software. So, yeah. Oh, just, yeah. So that's why Tesla kicks ass for the Lord. So anyway, I'm done now. I'm getting tired. I'm going to get back home and sleep now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.